Uh, the Dakota is the oldest building in, on the Upper West Side in New York. When it first went up, it was farmland. And I think that's, that's why they got the name, the Dakota. The challenge that we had here was that we were taking an existing hallway that is, um, for people who know the Dakota, large scale. And we were cutting it in half by having, being able to have access to another floor. And because of that, I didn't want to replicate the scale of the ironwork that's already here, although the apartment is very true to the existing architecture. And so the challenge was with, um, when, I, when I spoke to Helmut originally, was to come up with a piece that people would be drawn to when they entered the front door. So this railing started from a picture of uh, some wallpaper stenciling from the end of the 19th century. When we were throwing some ideas around, we came up with a bird of paradise because it had a lot of movement and would, would pull you into the space. We worked out the uh, prototype and uh, packed it up in a Federal Express box and uh, shipped it to uh, Joanne De Palma in uh, Manhattan. Before he agreed to do the piece, he decided to work out a sample and it arrived here and I took it out of the FedEx boxes which I always die when they arrive because they weigh 150 pounds and it takes three of us just to open the, the bloody thing. Anyway, I took it out and that was it. It was just magic. From that I could work out uh, an estimate for the cost involved and actually I don't like to call it an estimate because it is a price. I give uh, the customer a price. I say, this is what we're going to do based on the uh, sketches and prototypes and based on the uh, sketch of the actual piece in place, what it's going to look like more or less. And this is not straight here, this was kind of an S-shaped -S curve. And I think the magic comes from the, the torture, actually, that's involved in making something happen because you push it and you pull it and you twist it up, you look at it upside down and every which way. And, and there, there have been very difficult emotional moments between Helmet and I, and as I said before, I wouldn't have it any other way. Part of the long distance work is uh, that it's, a, it's quite a challenge that the communication is clean and clear. Inevitably, 50% of the people that come through this building that I've witnessed the first words that come out of their mouth is, oh my gosh, I want to go and touch that. And that is really the true um, success that I have experienced with everything that Helmut and I have done together, that he brings his soul into the piece and his energy into the piece that speaks back. The bars come up and they split. We were all just absolutely thrilled. <laughs> Is that better? Turn that camera off, please. <laughs>